we were given f of x equals 5x squared times log base 7 of the square root of x and asked to find the derivative function. It'll be easier to find the derivative if we use the power property of logarithms to change the form of log base 7 of the square root of x. Let's begin by writing the square root of x using the rational exponent of 1 half. We can rewrite f of x as f of x equals 5x squared times log base 7 of x to the power of 1 half. And then from here we can apply the power property of logarithms, which is log base a of x to the power of y equals y times log base a of x. Which means we can move the exponent of 1 half to the position of the coefficient, or in this case, we'll move it all the way to the front and multiply it by 5. Which gives us f of x equals 5 halves x squared times log base 7 of x. Now notice f of x is a product of two functions of x, and therefore we do have to apply the product rule to determine the derivative. Applying the product rule of differentiation, we have f prime of x equals the first function of 5 halves x squared times the derivative of the second function, which is the derivative of log base 7 of x with respect to x, and then plus the second function of log base 7 of x times the derivative of the first function, which is the derivative of 5 halves x squared with respect to x. And now let's work on determining the derivatives here and here. We have f prime of x equals 5 halves x squared, and then we have times a derivative of log base 7 of x. Notice how we do not have a composite function, and therefore we don't have to apply the chain rule. We can use the basic derivative formula, the derivative of log base a of x with respect to x equals one divided by the product of natural log a and x. We we'll notice a, the base of the logarithm, is equal to seven. And therefore the derivative is equal to one divided by the product of natural log seven and x. It wouldn't be wrong to try to apply the chain rule. Notice if we let u equal x, then u prime is just one. And then we have plus log base seven of x times the derivative of five halves x squared with respect to x, which is just five times x to the first, or five x. And now let's simplify if possible. For the first product, notice how there's one factor of x in the denominator, and the x squared would be in the numerator, and therefore the x in the denominator simplifies to one, and the x squared in the numerator simplifies to just one factor of x. So multiplying in the numerator, we just have 5x times 1 or 5x. In the denominator, we have 2 times natural log 7, or just 2 natural log 7. And then we have plus, nothing simplifies for the second product, but let's write the product as 5x times log base 7 of x. And we'll go ahead and leave the derivative function in this form. I hope you found this helpful.